All right, can you hear me now? Yes. Cool. All right, man. Well, nice to meet you. Thanks for being fucking assertive and getting on this call right away. That's awesome. Yeah, actually, I've got, I've actually gotten off to a slow start, not to be negative, but like a, I had a death in the family right when I signed up. Yeah. And wow. That was like Sorry a couple. That. Yeah, no big deal, but it was a couple weeks ago, so I've I've signed up for like two or three weeks now. And I haven't done anything, so I just oh, hadn't been able to. Yeah, yeah, no worries, man. Sorry about that. Shit happens, you know. Well, how's your family doing? Uh, well, the thing is, I had to, you know, settle the estate and all that, and oh wow, it, it's just uh, overwhelming. Yeah, so I, I just had to put this on the back burner. I could, yeah, you know, I didn't really yeah. have a choice. I couldn't concentrate on it. Yeah, dude, you're fine, man. There's nothing wrong with it. You had a death in the family. You had a mansion estate, which is overwhelming, and I'm sure you had to deal with a lot of people and shit you didn't really want to deal with. Right. But you had, right. To, but you had to do it. All right. Yep. And you were in charge right. of that. You were you were delegated to do that, so that was your job. <laughs> yeah, cool, I man. pretty much I pretty much have it done now, so I'm ready to move forward. But I feel like I'm behind because all I've done is go through the videos. I don't have any mock partners yet. And, yeah, uh, so so I'll tell you this, man. Honestly, the the real training is in the mocks. Seriously. Yeah. Right. Like watching all the videos and everything is great because you learn like the product knowledge, you learn some strategies, whatever. But at the end of the day and how you actually perform on the call has nothing to do with those videos. Nothing Right. like they're, like they're worthless. I don't care if you watch all of Tony Robbins videos ever fucking made in the world. You get in the phone with someone like me, I'm going to fucking destroy you. Like, you are not going to close me. I don't care how good he fucking told you about knowledge and psychology. I don't give a shit because I've done the work for years. I know what it looks like. Like, I don't care how much you learn. You have not demonstrated. You have not practiced it hundreds and thousands of hours like I have talking to people. And that's the real difference, right? Is like knowledge is great for knowledge, but for your performance with people, it's irrelevant. Seriously, it's irrelevant. And if you don't believe me, right? Look, and if you don't believe me, right? Oh. No, I believe I believe you. I mean, like I said, I sold cars before, and a lot of guys think they're cool and, and can do that, and they just can't. So yeah, yeah. And honestly, bro, and honestly, bro, look, like here's the gist, right? So just so you know, like <laughs> I am very unique. Seriously, like I am very different than anyone you'll ever talk to, especially in RCA. And I know that for a fact because I've been talking to a fuck ton of people, right? And I've been getting myself out there and I've been mocking like three times a day, right? With different people. And this is what I mean, right? When I speak to you, literally everything I say is coming from, okay, 40 years of brain science, neuroscience, and fucking research about what it takes and what it looks like to elevate human performance. Okay, so what I'm saying, bro, simply is that I'm not speaking out of my ass. Seriously. Everything I tell you, everything I'm telling you, I swear to you, I promise you, is designed to empower and help you in your experience of life and you, the way you perform. Even if you listen to the way I speak, <laughs> right? It's very intentional. I'm not using words I don't need to not deliver what I'm committed to delivering. So, you know, the problem, right, with what I just mentioned to you is that, look, right, Knowledge has knowledge gives you no access to being in life, like being excited, being happy, being intentional, being confident, right? All these things that you need to be if you want to be a fucking like rock star, you know, closer, even a setter, right? You got to be someone who's like relatable, someone people like, someone people want to work with. And if you're not, if your attention and focus is on the script, if it's on what fucking Tony Robbins said to you in video five of the series, I'm sorry, but you're fucked. Seriously. So I'm just gonna—I just wanted to create that context for you, okay? For our for our future communications. <laughs> I got you. Cool. All right, man. So yeah. So what do you want to do? Like, seriously, bro. Like, you could fucking sell me anything right now. It doesn't matter. I'll hear enough to give you feedback on what's going on. You could sell oh, me a fucking pen in front of your desk right now if you want to. It doesn't matter. I just want to hear your flow. 
I want to hear who you're being on the call with me. I want to hear like how you are. And I'll give you, and I'll, I'll actually be able to tell you like what's there, what you're actually doing, without even realizing it, like what's going on. And then I'll give you some actionable feedback, not some bullshit conceptual thing like, oh, great job, man, which is bullshit, does nothing for you. I'll actually tell you like, hey, here's what you're doing. And here's how you could correct it by demonstrating and practicing A, B, C, D in your actual life. Like doing the script in front of a mirror to learn and master the script will get you out of your head when you're doing the call and into the other person's world, which is how you sell, right? As an example. Well, I really don't know where to start, but, you know, like I said, I haven't done anything yet and I've only read the, the, the script. Hey, hey bro, time. you ready? Hey, bro, you ready? Let's have some fun with this, okay? Okay. Sell me a car. Go ahead. Here I am walking on your lot, right? Brand fucking new. I never, I didn't, I didn't watch a video. I didn't, I didn't, you, you didn't fucking market to me. I'm just driving down the street. I see your fucking, you know, auto loan, whatever. Your fucking auto like trader, you know, little compound. I walk into the store. You're the first person I see. Go. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, my name's Tim. I'm one of the salespeople here. Uh, I'm, oh God! You want me to tell you how I really used to do it? Yeah, I want you to fucking do it, man. Like this is real. Uh, like seriously, like like imagine this is a real thing happening right now. Go ahead. Well, I don't think you'll like it, but okay. I don't care. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, I just want to let you know that my name's Tim, and I'm a salesperson here. Uh, I, I want you to know that I'll be within earshot of you. Uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye on you if you want to raise your hand or give me a holler and you, you need some more information, just let me know. Okay. And then, and, and then I would let them go, but I know that's not the way we're going to do this, but in the car business, they're so sick of high pressure, high pressure. You know, I would stay within a hundred feet or so kind of minding my own business and Eventually, they would look up, yeah. and and I would say, oh, "Okay, it's time to talk." Okay, <laughs> all right. I, I'm already very confused. So, <laughs> you, so, so you're telling me that someone off the fucking street walks into your car business. You mm -hmm. have no idea why they're there, what they're looking for, if they even need your help or not, and immediately you assumed that I was on my own, I didn't need your attention yet, and then I would get back to you whenever I thought it was necessary. Yeah, that and, was a synopsis. That was not good, I, and I appreciate well, well, that. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. well, you're fine, you're fine. Listen, I'm just telling you what was there, right? Like, that's exactly what you did. So yeah. listen, if, yeah. I, so if that was me in real life, and that's how you talk to me, I'd be like, oh, so you actually don't care about me and why I'm here to buy a car? Well, fuck you. Let me go to someone else, see if they're interested in selling me a car today. Yeah, you're right. Seriously, like seriously, that's exactly no bullshit what I exactly would have done because what you just demonstrated is that you don't care about me, right? You listen, even the way you were talking to me sounded so robotic, like an automated script you've been doing for years. And you're just like, "Hey, you know, I'm available." This is seriously how you sounded. You're like, "Hey, my name is Tim, you know, I work here, I'm one of the sales reps." Um, you know, yeah, look around, do what you got to do, and if you have a question, um, let me know, okay? I'll be in earshot distance. Like really? Like that's how you that's how you sell people? Come on, man. Yeah, that's not exactly how it would have went down. I, I, but it's been a long time. Like I said earlier, it's been a long time since I. Yeah, yeah. It. No worries, it's fine. Okay, well, listen. Let's get, just so you know, okay. Anything I tell you, I swear to God, it is not personal to you. No, 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 no. I don't take it that way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, listen. I have to be responsible about that because I can get them very intense. Okay, I own that shit. I am. But I do it on purpose because I've realized and learned when what I do in coaching people, that's sometimes what it takes for you to hear what the fuck I'm saying, <laughs> you know, is to be a little bit of an asshole. So it gets through whatever the fuck you're doing in your world, right, as I'm talking to you. No, and I don't whatever, take it like that at all. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. I just want to check in because, like I said, some people, you know, they do. And I'm like, look, I'm sure you're a great guy. Like, seriously, like, I don't know you. I just met you. And anything I'm telling you has zero to do, in this case, right, with him as a man, as a father, as a person. Like, it's not about you. I am strictly speaking on your performance. That's it. That's all I'm talking about.
Cool. Sure. Could you do me a favor, man? Can I put you in hold for like three minutes? I'm so sorry, but I have to get something for lunch. Sure. Cool. So don't, okay, don't move, right? I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you want to get a script in the meantime, like from RCA, go ahead. We could even mock it real fast also if you want to. I, okay, all right I have is, now. okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, well, let's do, like I said, bro, um, if you go onto their their training website, that like weird ass sounding one, I think they have all the scripts and everything on there. Or if you want, ask someone in the chat right now for the setting script and just get it. And when we come back, we'll mock it. Okay. okay I'll be right back. All right, man, I'm back. Uh, whenever you're ready, let me know. Sure, I'm ready when you are. All right, well, let's do it, man. So are you setting me up? I guess, I mean, like I said, I've only read over this twice, so. Yeah, it, it's fine, honestly, so look, so I'm not gonna like listen for you don't the script, but I'm gonna be listening for everything else, okay? So whenever you're ready, go ahead. Hi, is this Alex? Uh, yeah, it's Alex. Hey, Alex, it's Tim. I'm calling about the ultimate guide to high ticket closing uh, that you downloaded from Cole Gordon. Does that ring a bell? Uh, yeah, I think I watched the video yesterday. It looked pretty cool. Oh, absolutely great. Now, uh, Cole asked me to reach out for a couple of reasons. And the first is to make sure you could access the video. I guess you were. Uh, yeah. uh, the other reason is to, uh, to better understand what you're looking for today. And if maybe I can help you point, point you in the right direction. Uh, do you have about, do you have five or 10 minutes to talk? Is this a good time? Uh, yeah, it's perfect. Absolutely great, Alex. Uh, I guess the best place to start is specifically about the video. What 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 appealed to you about the video? Um, yeah, I just like the fact that I could make like a lot more money, you know, doing the same kind of job I'm doing right now. And, um, you know, I mean, it's crazy, man. Like I'm working in a job, I'm like, working my ass off. You know, I was the number one performer in my whole company last month and I only got paid $7,000. I had 37 deals, you know, wow, $700,000 $700, of debt. I worked in a debt consolidation company, right? Like I like worked my ass off, did fantastic and I get paid shit for it. And then, and I, how, long then I, no? how long have you been doing that? Uh, well, for about a year, I've been working at this company. I see. And do you actually like the job? I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's not the most glorious job, but you know, it pays pretty well, at least so I thought. But now that I got right. this paycheck recently, I'm just like, I don't know anymore, you know? So if you could change something about that job, if you could, what would it be? Um, make more money. <laughs> and okay. yeah. Well, I understand. Um, now, how does that affect, as far as the money goes, is that affecting you in other areas of your life? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's very stressful, you know, because, um... <laughs> oh, hold on. Well, I, I understand, uh, no problem. Um, and I'm wondering, is it affecting anybody else? I mean, is it affecting your, your spouse or your children? Does it, does it affect the people around you? The fact that you're not happy? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, it's it's weird, man. Like, it's frustrating, you know, because I'm working in a place where, 
like there's literally zero training development done from the management like zero like the only reason why i'm this fucking good is because i'm part of another organization that does performance training they're the ones that gave me all the tools and technology i need to do well here but what about everyone else though you know like kind of like fuck them so i feel like i'm in an environment where i'm not being supported i'm not being challenged i'm not you know they're not helping me get better they're not paying me more for doing what i'm doing and then I even told them, look, like I'm willing to, I'm, I'm also willing to like train the other agents. Like I could be a trainer here. I'll still do my regular job. Just give me a little bump up, give me like another commission stream from their increased production. And I'll be more than happy to do my calls with them, do everything, you know, like it won't cost you anything. You know what their response to that is when I said that to them? What? They're like, okay, thanks. Wow. That's amazing. But, like that's it. Never heard so back from it, anyone about it. <laughs> so what I'm, you know, what I'm hearing from you, from you, Alex, is that you have tried to change your situation and it hasn't worked. So what happens if you don't solve the problem? Uh, if if you're not able to to move on in life, uh, and if you yeah. did nothing at all, I mean, ultimately, what are you trying to accomplish? I, I did hear you say you wanted to make more money. We all want to make more money. Uh, how much would you like to be making? What what's the number that would make you happy? All right, you're just asking me like 10,000 questions. Can you try it one more time? <laughs> so sorry, Alex. Ultimately, what I was asking is, what is your goal? I heard you mention money. Uh, yeah. Is there is there anything besides money? Uh, ultimately, what is your goal, Alex? Um, yeah, good question. Um, ultimately, my goal is to make at least 20000 a month because I live in California. It's really expensive here. And that's going to be required if I want to get my family and I a house, which is like 7000 a month alone in mortgage, you know, and have a quality of life, right? I'm also looking for a community of people that are like me, like they're hardworking, they're fucking awesome, we're high performing, we encourage and motivate each other. And then lastly, I want a fucking community of like, you know, or people I work for, like management per se, let's say coaches in your industry, that actually like know what the fuck they're doing. And they could challenge me and they could develop me and they're reliable. That's what I'm looking for. Well, that does sound amazing. And, you know, I've got to say, Alex, if you found a way to do that, how soon would you want to be there? Would you want to be there within 60 days, 90 days, 12 months, a few years? I mean, what's your motivation here? Man, fuck that. I'll be there right now if I can. And what have you tried so far to change this? Uh, um, I'm Anything? talking to you, I'm, I'm talking to you, aren't I? This is what I'm doing to change it. I'm reaching out to people like you right now, man. I, I got four other interviews lined up after this call. I'm fucking hustling. If I don't work with you, I'm going with someone else. Well, I do appreciate the opportunity, Alex, but I, I want to make sure that we're a good fit for each other so I can get you to the right resources and make sure that you do re ultimately reach your goals within the time frame uh, that you mentioned, uh, which is uh, as soon as possible. Um, now, did I get that right? Oh, my God. I'm lost now. Appreciate you sharing. Alex, I appreciate you sharing your goals and your current situation. And I do have some thoughts that I can share with you. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Absolutely great. Uh, we do work with a ton of people like you looking to start a new chapter in their life. And of course, that is their biggest goal is to reset their life into the into the situation that they want to be. And I think RC might be a really great, great, great fit for you and what you're looking to do. Uh, the reason, <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm basically reading off this script because I've only read it twice. Uh, yeah, I know. Keep going. Uh, Alex, just in the little bit, the little bit of time that I've spoken to you so far, I can tell you that uh, you do communicate very well, and uh, of course, we do. We have worked with all types of people, and we do care about the work you do. And oh my God, I'm not sure I'm doing that right. Okay, I can tell that you're a high energy person and that you do communicate well and that you've worked with all types of people and that you care about uh, what you do and 
the satisfaction that it gives you. I mean, we've got people doing $10,000, basically just rolling out of bed in the morning and, and can also scale up from there. And there's some others that have grown things beyond that up to 30,000 a month. Cool. You know, that's about, that's a, let's, let's just stop there. This is getting terrible. Okay. <laughs> So how has so how is it for you? And look, don't listen. We're not going to talk about the script because obviously you just got it. Yeah. So what else did you notice about the rest of it for yourself? Well, it's not that bad, really. I mean, I think personally on my end, if I had like uh -huh. a couple dozen mock calls, I think I could be good at it. Yeah, but I'm not asking about that. I'm asking about oh. right now in our box. Like, how was that? How do you think oh, it, it was, was for shitty. you on your side? <laughs> oh, it was very, it was terrible. <laughs> okay, good. Absolutely, absolutely terrible. I didn't sound confident. Uh, nope. And I didn't really know my information, even though, <clears throat> even though you had just told me uh, some okay. of it. Okay. What else? I, uh, I paused between, you know, transitioning into a, well, I mean, there really wasn't anything good about it, Alex. Okay. <laughs> um, do you think you were actually listening to me at all? Yeah, I was trying to. I, I, I really was trying to actively listen, uh, but I just got a little nervous there. I didn't take any notes either. Yeah, so notice you just said the word trying. Okay, that means you weren't doing anything. That's like the word hope, okay? Yeah. And second, I don't give a crap about what you're trying to do. What I asked you was, were you actually listening to me? Yes or no? Yes, I was. No, you weren't at all. <laughs> now, do you want to know how I know that? Yes. Yeah. Because you didn't demonstrate not one time, not once that I could think of where you were listening. What do I mean by that, right? I told you I want to be making at least $20,000. When you read the script later on, you said, yeah, we have, we have a lot of guys here that make $10,000 out of bed. I don't, get, I don't want $10,000. I want $20,000. So you missed that right there. Yeah. And, then as I, as, and then as I was talking to you and telling you like about my life, right? You said, what are your goals? I told you all three of my goals. What did you say? Okay, cool. Or great. And then you moved on. You didn't, either, you didn't say it back to me. So I knew that you got it. You heard what I said. Nothing. Okay, when you do that kind of shit, man, to people, seriously, once again, this is like advanced fucking training, okay? When you speak that way to people, like you just did, what, what's left with me as the client or the prospect is that you're not listening to me. You don't understand what I really want because you're not saying it. So it's obvious, right? And, and, at the, and here is the nasty shit that you really want to get, Tim, seriously. If you want to be super effective at setting and closing like I am, like the best of my fucking whole company, this is you have to really be responsible for what I'm about to say, okay? And once again, do not fucking take this personally because it's not personal to you. This is something that human beings do and we all do this shit. You ready? Yeah. Okay, good. Listen, the, the, the underlying reason why you didn't do anything I just said, why you didn't say it back to me, why you didn't actually, why you weren't listening at all, okay, is because, and listen really closely here, consider you don't give a fuck about me at all. You really don't. Because if you did, right, if I was your son and I was talking to you, wouldn't you be fucking listening? Wouldn't you have, like, said it back to me or asked me questions about it? Yes, because you're interested. You give a shit. Consider you don't fucking care. That's why you didn't do any of those things. And yeah, it's fucking nasty. And we all do it. And it's disgusting, really. Well, I'm following you. I, I agree with you. Okay, thank you. Thanks for being open about that. <laughs> A lot of people get very defensive when I say that. But no bullshit. That's what's really going on. Whether you believe me or not, I don't fucking care. Once again, this is not me saying it. It's 40 years of fucking neuroscience saying it. We don't fucking care. And think about it logically, right? Look at your life. If there are people in your life that you care about, right? And they say to you, hey, Tim, this is really important to me, ABC. Do you just fucking move on and talk about something else? <laughs> no, that's being a dick. 
Yeah, exactly, right? I mean, wouldn't she be like, wow, like that's really cool. Now look, let's mock again. This time I'm fucking you and you're me. Okay. That, 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 that sounded really weird, but you know what I meant, right? <laughs> I'm yeah. going to be you in this mock and you're going to be me, okay? Yeah, I got you. All right, here we go. So, I'm, here we go. So, um, you know, Alex, listen, so thanks for being on the call today. You know, I see that you have an interest in high ticket sales, you know. So, did you have an opportunity to watch Cole's video? Yes, I did. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, if you don't mind, like, what'd you like about it? You know, what interests you? Um, what was really, what was really there for you? I mean, like everybody else, the simple answer is money. Uh, uh -huh. I, I, I'm basically broke. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. How long has that been going on for? Uh, quite some time, a couple of years. Oh, geez. Sorry, man. Have you been looking for like other work or other opportunities to help you out with that? Well, you know, I've done <coughs> Amazon, eBay, things like that. Nothing ever works out. Yeah, I, I've heard a lot of people do those things, too. And they just don't really pay well, right? They're not very like longevity companies. And I hear a lot of them treat you like shit. Is that right? They don't treat you like anything because... They don't care. Oh, yeah. Well, then you definitely don't want to be there any longer than you have to, right? <laughs> right. Okay. I got it, man. Well, thanks for sharing that. I'm sure that wasn't that easy to do. I appreciate it. So I'm curious then. So how did you find out about us? Uh, Well, I was just looking for opportunities on the internet. And for whatever reason, I clicked on you guys and watched a short video and I it just interested me. It seemed promising. Okay, great. Yeah, man. And you said the money, right? That was like the most important thing to you, right? Yes. You know, in the long run. Yeah. Yeah, That's in it. the long run, for sure. So I'm really curious then, right? So considering you've been broke, you said the last couple of years now, you know, and you're looking for a kind of a change in your life. Um, you know, let's take a second and kind of dream, right? I mean, Tim, you know, if you were working with someone like us, if that's something you chose to do, you know, honestly, all the agents that I've hired and I've talked to, you know, they're all making at least 10, 15,000 a month right now, right? Like minimum, all of them. So, I mean, if that's something you were doing, right, and you were producing for your life right now, let's say starting like next month, right? Um, for example, like, I don't know, I mean, how would your life change making that much money now for you? It would be all inclusive. It would it would change everything. <clears throat> it would absolutely change everything. Well, like, would you mind sharing? You know, like, like, what would that kind of look like for you? You know, like, let, let's 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 dream, man. Because honestly, like, this is what we do here. You know, we I literally got I literally hired an agent last month, and he's a hustler. Like, he got on, he did all the training and everything. He's already working, and he just made like his first couple sales. He already made like three, four thousand dollars in his first week. Like he's killing it. So imagine the kind of life now he's gonna have, right? Making that type of money that he'd never made before, right? It's like completely different. So like for you, Tim, you know, like I don't know, man. If if you started making like you know ten, fifteen, whatever, twenty thousand dollars a month, let's say starting in February, you know, how like like tell like tell me like how would your life look like at that point? You know, what would you be doing? What would you buy? You know, what what would be what would be going on for you? Well, at this point in my life, I, I wouldn't buy anything. It would uh, it would be going in the bank, and my ultimate goal would be to purchase a home outright with no mortgage, cool. uh, which would basically, at this point in my life, be like hitting the lottery. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then, you know, let's fast forward like a year from now, right? I mean... Would you be living in the same house a year from now if you're making ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month? You know, how would your lifestyle change? Like, what do you see? Well, no. If I was making, say, ten thousand dollars a month, I would probably move to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What else? And I'd probably eat well. Okay. So does no. that mean like you would like you lose weight or you become oh, no, a I would just, more, but... more like Kobe steaks? 
Uh, oh, there you go. There you go. Hell yeah. Gotta love that Kobe beef. I love yeah. it. All right, what else, man? Come on, this is your moment to dream, my friend. Because look, what you want, I promise you, we could deliver it if we if we're a good fit for you. So, like, just tell me, man. Dream. What's there for you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my really, my I'm a simple man. I dream to live on the canal in Florida and sit back and drink Coronas and work a couple hours a day if I want to. And uh, and just relax. I'm at that point in my life where I really kind of re- want to relax. I've I've been to almost every state in the United States, and I don't really want to go overseas at this point. And I, yeah. I just I just want to have a place to relax and yeah, and good for you, man. Settle in. So, what, what would life be like for you then? in that moment of time you're settling in you have all the money you need you have money in the bank you have a house you know how would your experience of life then be right now compared to now it would be 100 percent different i mean yeah i mean literally like imagine right now tim you're there like it's a year from now you have everything you just said you wanted like how would life be for you would you be happy would you be excited fulfilled like energized you know what's there for you well, for one thing, it would, for the first time in my life, it would enable me to help other people. I've never really ever been able to do that. And if I had the time and money, I, you know, even if it was so simple as going to a soup kitchen or donating some, you know, donating some money or sponsoring somebody, you know. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. Good for you. Have you done any of that in the past? You know, way back the last time my life was comfortable, you know, probably 20 years, 15 years ago, I have done some of that, but not, not lately. Wow. It sounds like you kind of miss it. Yeah, I like to give back if I can, yeah. but at this point I need to give to myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah. It's like the old uh, airplane analogy, right? You got to take care of yourself before you take care of everyone around you, right? That's right. I got it. Hey, I, I got it, man. Honestly, I get it, man. I get that right now. You're kind of in a slump, you know, the last couple of years financially. But, uh, you know, you sound like a you sound like a great guy. You sound like someone who has a big heart. You know, you care about people. You want to make a difference in the world. And all you're missing is just the financial backing to do so. You yeah, know, and for and for us, like you're just missing the right opportunity, right, to make that a reality. That's correct. Yeah, I get it, man. Honestly, I get it. And you know what? This opportunity, you know, I've been doing this for just six months. It hasn't been that long, honestly. But all of the agents, the amazing people like you that I've enrolled, registered, they're now doing it, they're living it. You know, literally, like, you should hear some of their stories, man. It, it would make you cry. You know, people that are paying off, like, their mom's mortgages, you know, like their parents' mortgages, you know, as a thank you for being great parents. You know, they're buying their spouses new houses, you know, they're go- they're taking their kids like around the world for vacationing, you know, like they are dreaming. They're doing things they thought they would never do because they never really believed that they would have that financial backing to actually do it. And now they're doing it, you know, so I know this works. It's awesome, you know, and honestly, like, you know, talking to you, you sound like you're the type of guy who like would benefit greatly from this kind of opportunity, you know. So, you know, all I have to do next with you, man, is I just want to set you up with my guy. Um, his name is John. Okay, he's the one that's going to tell you more about how, you know, the program works, the sales academy, everything like that. You know, just to make sure everything is a perfect fit for you, because that's what I care about, that, like, you want to be here. It's the right place for you. It works for you. And then if everything lines up, man, we'll get you enrolled, started. And, dude, just sprint, man. Do what I do. Do what I did. Like, just sprint. You get in. You start the training right away. You get up done as quickly as you can. Get the mocks in. And you start making money. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, it does. All right, man. So let me get let me get my calendar out here for John because I do want to schedule a call, you know, with him. Um, what's your availability tomorrow? When are you available? Uh, let's see. Anytime after two. Okay, let me and I'm sorry, what um what um time zone are you in? Because we work nationwide. Eastern time. Eastern. So two, so I'm in California, it's eleven my time. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, how about can we do two thirty your time, eleven thirty my time? Does that work? Yeah, that works for me. Okay, cool. And then do me a favor, Tim. Just verify your email address. I'm gonna send you a calendar invitation right now. Uh, yeah, sure. It's 
thfb9000 at gmail.com. Gotcha. Okay. Let me type it in. I'm going to send the RSVP. Okay, cool. So do me a favor and check your email. Let me know if you got it. Yeah, just came through. All right. So please click on the RSVP or click on yes. And this way it'll go automatically in your calendar. Okay. So we don't forget about this. Okay. I got it. All right, my friend. Look, so last thing here, I do want to support you in case you have any breakdowns from now until tomorrow. So look, I know we're kind of talking on Facebook. You know, that's where everything we do is. So I'm going to send you a quick message request just to say, hey, this is Alex. Um, so this way, in case anything happens from now until tomorrow when you have a call with John, please just be respectful of both of our time. Just send me a message on Facebook. And just say, hey, I can't make it. I got to reschedule like just something. So I know that you're serious about this and you don't blow this opportunity for you. Okay. okay. So let me message you right now. Um, do me a favor. Check your Facebook messenger. It might be in the message request. If you look in the messenger app on your phone. Um, my name is Alexander Macklin. It should be there. Tell me if you see it. Yep. Just got it. All right, and then please just type back the word, hey. I just want to make, because once you do that, then we can start talking for real without me being in your spam box anymore, because <laughs> that's just how Facebook does it. Okay, I got cool. it. All right, my friend. So look, anything else for me? Any questions? Um, anything about the next step here with John, what you're going to talk about? Or is everything clear? You're excited about this opportunity, what it could provide for you, and you're just waiting for tomorrow? Or, or no, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm, re I'm ready for the call. Awesome. All right, my friend. Look, if you have any breakdowns, message me a messenger. I got you back. I'll take care of you. If we have to schedule, no problem. And with that being said, have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Talk to you. Cool. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye. Done. So how is that for you? Like now, I want you to like, just think back, right? You were just me. So how is the experience for you being like a prospect? How'd you feel? Uh, I felt, you know, I felt fine. Um, I felt a little bit of pressure at the end when you said don't, you don't want to blow it for yourself, but you're the pro, not me. So that's okay. That's really interesting. What? Because there's nowhere pressure in that entire statement. I said that because I was so committed for you being successful, which I said to you three times. I'm I like, shouldn't say you don't blow I this should, opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have said pressure. I just that's okay. the only thing. That's the only thing that stuck out to me. I don't. I don't. I probably shouldn't have said pressure. But well, no, I mean, I mean well, 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 Tim, it's not a problem. It's, it's just really interesting that you said that word. Was my point because <laughs> I didn't. I did not at all create pressure in that entire conversation. So that was really no, interesting that that you heard that. That's why I brought it up. No, I misspoke. I shouldn't have said that. Um, but no, it sounds like it, I mean it's you sounded professional and attentive and and you know I see what you're saying about uh, you know when you broke into being able to you know that you have guys on the team that are paying off mortgages because that's uh -huh. you know the other guy which was me was interested in helping other people so you yeah. kind of you kind of branched off of that and yeah. So would you say that I was listening to you? Yes. Would you say I understood actually what you really wanted and what you really cared about? Yes. Now, how do you know that? Because of the, the conversation you, you had with me after I told you uh, so, that I like so, to give back. So I, so I was like saying it back to you, right? Yeah, almost. Yeah. Well... If it's not that, then what, right? How would you then literally know that I was listening and understanding you? There wouldn't how be would another you... way. Well, no, 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 I'm serious, man. I'm asking you like a natural question. Like, how would you know, right? How would I be demonstrating in reality on the call with you that I am listening and I understand you? Like, what would I be saying and doing to give you that, that answer? That yes, I am listening and yes, I am understanding you. How would you know that? I don't think I would know unless you empathized and uh, mm -hmm. yeah yeah um, very good right so look so this so <laughs> this is so great right so once again you're doing what human beings do right you're conceptualizing what i'm asking which is fine because we all do that i'm gonna give you the answer in reality okay the answer in reality is that because i recreated everything you said and i said it back to you in a way 
that was a little different than the words you said, but it but it came across with like the emotion behind it, like the commitment behind it, right? You said that you want to make money. You want to give back, right? You want to help people. So I'm not going to just parrot you and say the exact words because that's not listening either, by the way. I was like, right? What I was listening for was your commitment when you said that, which was this, right? Wow, Tim, it sounds like you really like helping people out a lot, right? Maybe it even fulfills you. And it's something you haven't done in a very long time, in 15 years, right? Right. Because you said that, right? But mm-hmm. notice, how I, notice how I'm like saying it a different way to you in a way where I'm bringing it from like what you're committed to, which is helping people you haven't done in a while. Like you want to be doing it again, right? So by me demonstrating that to you, just so you know, for your training development, That's how you get a sense that I'm actually listening and understanding you because I'm recreating and I'm saying it back to you in a way that actually lands like, wow, this guy really got what I said. Like he's actually listening. How do I know that? Because he just told me what I just said in a way that's like, yeah, that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I just said, Alex. Totally. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. So you see the difference, man? Like, but but listen. But but it's it's funny though it's funny though isn't it because like like you knew that too you even said it you're like yeah because you're empathizing but that's just a word what the fuck does that mean right no in right. reality I demonstrated demonstrating means I actually spoke to you I opened my mouth and said blah 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 in a way that you heard it that was like yeah this guy actually listened that's exactly what I said I wanted he got it nail in the head right. Now, if I didn't do that to you, right, if I didn't say back in the way that I do things that you say are important to you, and then I said to you, Tim, am I listening or saying you say, no, you're not. Because how would you know? Because I'm not saying it back to you. So how the hell would you know that I'm actually listening, right? Even if I say, okay, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, I got it. Okay, Drew, that's what most people do on these mock calls. Seriously, I've done like 20 at this point. That's what they, that's what most of them do. Is they say, okay, yeah, I got that. I understand that. Okay, just so you know, when you say that, that doesn't mean shit. What that means to me is that you don't give a fuck about me enough to be listening to what I'm saying to you to actually say it back to me. Because if you did, you'd be saying it back to me. (laughs) You know? So I would actually know in reality you're listening to me and you care about me enough to listen. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, yeah, it's kind of trippy, isn't it? And like a little scary, right? That most of us don't actually give a fuck about other people and that we don't actually listen. Isn't that kind of trippy? It's true. Though. <laughs> yeah, it's totally true. Cool. Um, so that was, again, right? Me demonstrating, Tim, what it looks like to be someone that was interested in your life, right? Like authentically interested. Now, would you say that like I knew you? Like, I knew a lot about you, about what you cared about. I knew about what was important to you. I knew about what you wanted for your future. Would you say that I did a good job knowing you? Yes. Okay. Now, did you like me? Like, did you like me as a person in the way that I was engaging with you, my tone, my interest, the things that I said? Like, did you, would you like a person like that? Well, it didn't, nothing triggered to me that I wouldn't like you. Yeah. So, so the I, answer, so the answer is yes, right? You did like this. Yeah. Okay. And then now, right? Now that now that I knew you, you kind of knew me a little bit. You knew that I cared about you. You liked me. Would you now trust me if I was saying, "Hey, I think this is a great fit," and you, you should really look into this and get on a call with John because this could really help you in your life. Would you now trust me in me suggesting that to you? Yeah. I mean, just to get me through the next step for sure. 100%. Yeah, hundred percent, right? Hundred yeah. percent. We said the same thing the same time, right? Hundred <laughs> percent, right? For sure. Okay, so look, Tim, listen. That's the trick, my friend. That is what it looks like in reality, right? Not some bullshit fucking guru on Facebook group spitting off all this nonsense, theoretical, conceptual bullshit about who you have to be on the phone with someone to close a deal. That means fucking nothing to you and your performance. Because unless you could demonstrate it, it means nothing, right? Like, if I just told you, Tim, you have to know, like, and trust me, so do that next time. Would that actually do anything for you in your performance? No. No, right? Because what the fuck does that look like, right? Like, in reality, Alex, how do I do that? Like, what does it sound like, right? Like, what would it look like? 
when I say demonstrating, that's what I really mean. Like, okay, great. Now, how? How the fuck do we do that? <laughs> you know, like, where's the how? Right? But most people, bro, in their coaching, most people on their Facebook posts, their videos, whatever, it's all about fucking knowledge and conceptual bullshit that does zero, zero for your performance in sales like we're doing right now. Right? Zero. Right. Once again, because knowing gives you no access to being, meaning, meaning that you can't be someone like I am right now with you, right? You can't be confident. You can't be intentional. You can't be a fucking badass. Someone who, someone like you, when I'm talking to you, bro, you're like, wow, this guy is badass. I want to be like him. He works for this company and doing fucking sales and he's killing it. I want to do what he's doing. Right? As opposed to being someone on the phone who sounds like Tim, like you were originally, right? <laughs> like, yeah. which, by the way, which, by the way, is like that. Now, look, I want you to imagine, because I am, okay? Imagine I am RCA, right? I am the brand. Like, I'm your first fucking person you're talking to in the whole company. You got to consider, man, be responsible for, you are the fucking brand. Like, you're RCA right now on this call. And this is how you sound. Yeah, Alex, so, you know, tell me about problems. You know, so what problems do you have at your job? Oh, okay, you're not getting paid enough. Oh, okay, okay, that's cool. Um, and, I mean, any, anything else? Like, is there anything else you, you, you want in your life? Oh, you want a house someday? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, you know, we have a lot of people here that do that. Um, yeah, you know, my, my friend Bob, he started working here. I mean, I'm laughing because it's so ridiculous, right? But, but I'm telling you, bro, listen, that's seriously how you sounded like. You sounded like a fucking, like, robotic, monotone dude. And listen, I get it. You don't know the script. You don't have to explain it. I get it. Okay, that's normal. Everyone does that. It's fine. But what I'm saying though, right, listen to him. If that's how you sounded to someone and you're selling them the dream, especially if you want to be a closer someday in this business to make really good fucking money, would you want to work with someone like that if I am the fucking brand? I am RCA right now. And I'm talking like that to you. Would you want to work with someone like me? You mean like me? Yeah, no, no, like, like listen, like, 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 and this mock, right? Like, you were me, right? Like, you're a prospect. You're looking to work with RCA. I'm selling you, like, that kind of a fucking voice. Would you want to work with me? If I'm promising you the fucking moon, $20,000, phenomenal network, da 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 But I sound like, yeah, Tim, you know, we don't, you know, you know, we, uh, we, we, we do things like that here. Yeah, you know, I, I, I have friends that make money. I mean, I, I mean, seriously, bro, like, if that's how I spoke to you, and I was the fucking brand. Like, I am RCA. Seriously, I am. Right? Because you're working with me and my company. Would you want to work with someone like that or believe them? If no. that's how they spoke to you. Yeah, no. Right? No fucking logical, relatively intelligent person would want to, right? Because it sounds suspect, right? Doesn't it sound like a mismatch? Like, shouldn't I be a fucking badass on the phones if I'm making $20,000 a month? Shouldn't I be a fucking badass? Like the way that I talk to you, I should yeah, I be, mean, right? I should be, yeah, right? I mean, it would sound like bullshit. Yeah, exactly, right? So listen, well, what a lot of people don't get, bro, okay, is that they speak like that, and they read the script, and they believe the script will get them to the deal or the set. And I'm telling you, now, some people it does work on, okay, just to be responsible for what I'm saying here. Some people it does work on because, look, they don't give a fuck about you. They just care about the opportunity. And they'll say whatever they have to say to you to get a call with John, period. Okay, you will always close those people, always. But I promise you, man, that's like 10% of the whole fucking market. It's really small. Okay, you're not going to be effective like I am in closing like almost everybody, right? That's fucking, you know, eligible and can afford it, whatever. <laughs> because they won't want to work with you. You sound like a fraud. Okay, no, we call that we call that blowing them out on the car lot. Yeah, there you go, blowing them out. Yeah, I mean seriously, right? You sound like a fucking fraud. I, dude, someone like me who's fucking number one in sales, I would never work with you. You sound like a fucking fraud. I'm like, no, bro. Like, wait, everyone sounds like you, and you're promising me to make twenty thousand dollars. What the fuck are you like? What? That makes no <laughs> sense. I mean, you can laugh about it, right? It's so ridiculous. So look, now, I'm going to give you some more coaching, okay? So part of being this way, okay, 100% comes from, okay, being grounded. Okay, what does that mean? It means that you are so, dude, look, check that, bro. From our interaction right now, right, 
How many mm-hmm. hours do you think I've spent with the RCA courses in script? Seriously, how many? Consider like, the way I just delivered it to you. How many hours do you think? Well, from what you told me earlier, I would say no, 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 no. Sorry, don't say that. No, don't include that. Just be with me in the call, right? We just had a mock. You heard the way I was talking to you. If I'll you say, were Alex, I would say you'd, ma- I would say you mastered the course. Okay, thank you. So, so what, what do you think? How many hours? Just throw out a random number. Uh, like fifty hours, maybe. Oh no. Hours. What do you think? I mean, well, I mean, I mean you- remember. I mean, remember, I, mean, I told you, I, I told you I've been here for six months, right? So in six months, how long do you think I would have been doing this shit? Practicing it, you know, whatever, whatever. I really don't know. Yeah, but it probably would be a lot, right? Like 50, 100 plus hours, right? Probably, especially with all the, all the, call, all the calls that I've been doing for six months, right? Sure, yeah. Okay, so check this shit out, right? In reality, okay, this is Alex now talking again, okay? <laughs> we're, 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 the mock stops right here. Okay, in reality... I have not, for one fucking second of my life, have done any of RCA's courses or scripts yet. Not one second. I believe you. Well, but this is my point, though, right? Now, so is it even required, then, to close someone to do those things if I didn't do it at all? Uh, Not on your end, obviously, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly right. So yeah, so listen. So my point is this, right? Now, for someone as masterful as I am, right, it works for me to not even read the script, at least at this point in my, you know, my time with RCA. It's only been like 12 days, right? So obviously, yes, I am going to read the scripts, right? I am going to watch the videos because that's part of the curriculum. I will do that. But what I demonstrate to you, Tim, is that I don't want you to be stuck with attached to that you have to get it right and do it exactly their way because you don't as i just demonstrated to you okay as long as you're a fucking badass in sales and performance like i am and you know your shit i mean think about it man did i did you what did i close you in setting you up an employment with john like powerfully where you were excited about it you were motivated by it and you're like let's do this shit man yeah, I'm still waiting on the call. I'm ready. I got it on my phone. <laughs> there you go, right? So look, now, anyone listening to this, if we ever share this recording, okay, I'm not saying don't do the materials in the script. Yes, please do. My point here is that it's not the end-all, be-all. Like, it's not like you have to do it all and memorize it all to be effective in sales. It's not, right? It's just product knowledge. It's just something for you to know to essentially weave into your sales flow, your sales process to do all this job. So it definitely is critical and crucial to know, but. Are you there? Hello? Hello? I think I lost you. Hello? Hey there. I'm here. I, I lost you for a second there. Okay, no worries. Sorry. Yeah. So what I was saying for anyone listening, if we share this call, right, is a look, learning product knowledge with RCA is critical and crucial and definitely do everything they say, okay, including the coursework and the scripts. It's important because that's what we're selling, right? That's kind of the mock here. But at the end of the day, though, okay, if you want to be an extremely high performer, like number one, you got to put that shit aside. You do. And you got to focus on being with people, listening, understanding in a way that has them know you, like you, and trust you. Because at the end of the day, people do not buy from strangers. If they don't like you, they ain't going to fucking buy with you. They're not going to be with you. So they have to like you, be connected to you, right? So how do you do that? Be interested in their life, right? Get engaged like I did in the mock call. Ask more questions. Get how their life really is. Like what's working and not working for them, right? Get deep, like dig in, you know, and really be committed that, look, this is a great fit for them, this opportunity. It's really going to help them out, you know, and you actually give a shit about them. Like really, because yeah, that's, the you, biggest, that's the biggest take I got out of all of it was. Yeah. Oh, good for you. Good for you, man. And that's huge. Seriously, dude, it's really huge because honestly, look, when I started sales, I'm not going to lie. I'm a very honest person, okay? When I started sales, too, I was all about me. 
Okay, all about making money, all about looking good, you know, being a hot shot, fucking sales rep, all that bullshit, right? But who I was really being was like a fucking asshole. I was being a selfish, pompous dick who didn't give a shit about anybody, and I didn't care, you know? But, you know, through my development, though, and training that I do, not RCA training, my training that I do in my organization, you know, what we, what I got from them is that, look, you know, if you want to be effective in your life, if you want to have an extraordinary life, if you want to be happy, fulfilled, you know, everyone around you is winning just like you, you have phenomenal relationships, everyone wins, everyone does well, like you have to actually like people. <laughs> and like love being around them you know so i literally had to, to develop myself like no bullshit it took years like literally three years to develop myself into someone that actually likes people check that shit out right this is a true story by the way i'm, I'm not making this shit up this is this is real for me in my life i actually had to train develop myself to like people to like people and to care about them because i knew that's what it would take for me to be effective in my life personally and professionally to be successful and have the life I've always wanted to have. And you know what? Now I do. <laughs> and it's awesome. You know, my life is a fucking miracle. I was living in my car, Tim, seven years ago to this day, I was fucking homeless in Orange County. No bullshit. Okay. And I was in a position where, you know, I literally had no money, no means, no nothing. I got out of the military. I was stranded. You know, I lied to everyone around me about how I was doing and blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the day, you know, it was just me and my car surfing parking lots every day. But the most important question in my life was this. Where am I sleeping tonight? Well, seriously, man, for a whole fucking year, no bullshit. From July 14 to July 15, I lived in my car for a whole year, probably nine months in Orange County and then three months in San Diego. And that was my life, man. Like, that's just how it was. Because I was, you know, I got out in a way in the military where I was not empowered, right? I was depressed. And I was just kind of like, fuck the world, you know? Like, seriously, man. And you know what? Fortunately, I, you know, I turned it around. You know, I eventually, like, moved to San Diego. Uh, I met some really great people that included me in their network and their communities. You know, I eventually found this organization that I'm part of still today, the Train Development. And just since then, man, my entire life has gone like a 180. You know, I can still remember it today. I'm in my car. I have like, you know, 100 bucks to my name, watching videos all day because I had a smartphone. Like, seriously, that was my life. Seriously, man. <laughs> like, kind of pathetic, right? If you want to put a word to it. But like, that was my life. You know, that's how it was for me. And then, you know, stuff happens. And eventually I got stopped being, you know, kind of a bum about it, you know, got into action, went to school, started working, started meeting people. And, you know, over time, I put the work in. I put the work in to do what it would take when I saw the opportunity to be someone who's successful, who helps people, who loves people. I told my mom after like 31 years that I loved her. Literally, it took me that long. Because who I am as a human being, the way I wound up being from being a kid is I hate people. Like, they don't give a shit about me. I'm not worthy. Like, who cares? Game over. Seriously. And that would have been my entire life for the most part if I didn't, you know, deal with it and train to develop myself, right, to be who I am today. You know, so last thing here, I'm going to leave you with, Tim. Okay, look, if you want to be, right, so listen, here's kind of the picture you want to paint. You know, one thing I learned over the years, because I'm a very strategic thinker, so I think very strategically, right, is in order to be a high performer in anything, right, you have to know what it looks like, okay, as a framework. So in this business of sales, okay, what it looks like to be an extremely, I even call it an insane performer, because my results are just freaking insane. Like if I share with you what I do in my actual professional and personal life, it would literally knock your socks off. It's insane, Okay. What it looks like to be an insane performer is that for one, especially in sales, you have to be someone that actually authentically, not bullshitting. I mean, you could do it, you could bullshit it too, but you know, life is gonna still suck then for you overall. If you could authentically be someone who likes people, cares about them, loves them, has an interest in them, like seriously, like as if like you're talking to your fucking dad on these calls, like your brother your best friend, and you treat them like that, you talk to them like that, okay? I promise you, being connected to them will be a snap. It'll be simple. 
because you're just having a normal conversation like you would like over dinner, you know, it's no big deal. It's not stressful. You know, Tim, the entire time I was talking with you, I was smiling on the side of the phone. I was looking at the phone. I was engaged. Like I was there with you and what you were sharing with me. Seriously, I was. You had 100% of my attention. I wasn't doing anything else. It was just all about you. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, other things, okay. And how do you create, you know, a framework of someone no one that can trust you? Okay, it's very simple. You have to be interested, curious, and empathetic about their life. Okay, what does that look like? You ask them questions. Hey, tell me more about that, Alex. Like, well, remember, like I asked you in the call, the bot call. Like, what else would you be doing, right? What's something you haven't done for a long time, Tim, that really motivates you and excites you that you haven't done because you're broke, man? Like, what is that for you? I'm really interested. When you speak like that, you know, people are like, holy shit, like he actually cares because he's asking me, you know? Like, that's what it looks like to demonstrate being interested and being loving and caring. And I promise you, man, when you are like that with everybody, and by the way, you actually can build that with everybody. I don't give a shit if they're a hard ass ball buster. It doesn't fucking matter. You could still be bringing, I'm sorry, you could still bring being like that with them too. Because guess what? I fucking do it in my life. So I'm telling you it's possible. Okay. So that's how you build that no like trust factor, right? And then once you're done with that, Right now, you want to ask them the questions. Okay, look, top salesmen, they sell into benefits, not features. Okay, that's a very abstract thing to know, but I have to say it because it's relevant here, okay? If you were just talking about, Tim, oh, you can make $10,000 here. You can quit your other day job, right? You could be among you know other people like you. Okay, those are all features of RCA, okay? They have nothing to do with me, period. Okay, they're features. Features do not sell. And honestly, they're fucking boring when you share them to people. They don't fucking care because they're not related to me. Right? When you said you wanted to make, let's just make it up. Let's say you said you want to make $10,000 a month. I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, you could. I'm not going to be like, yeah, you know, we have guys here that make $10,000 a month. I always say something like, okay, great. Is that the minimum you want to make? Is, is that it? Or do you want to make more, Tim? Oh, well, shit. If that could be like the floor, shit, make me, you know, 20,000 would be in a lot better position than 10. I'd be like, hell yeah, right? Yeah, okay, well, look, we have guys that start here, you know, they start 10 their first 30, 60 days, and then if they're good, they go to 15 or 20. So what would that be like for you, Tim, to be making $20,000 a month in your first three months? Would that get you out of bed in the morning? (laughs) Hell yeah, it would. Damn right. You see the difference? Yeah. versus Benefit, right? Big fucking difference, right? Because you won't remember, listen, here's the thing of it, okay? And here's another context or framework to live in in these calls. The entire call you do has to be around the world of the client, prospect, whatever, okay? Everything has to be about them, everything. Everything you say has to be related to them, has to link to them somehow, everything. If you are just talking out of your ass, okay, which most people have been doing on these calls, by the way, and it's so obvious for me to hear it, Okay, and you're just reading fucking script that's nonsense, and your voice is fucking like, yeah, so Bob, um, you know, how much money would you like to make? $10,000? Okay, that's cool. So Tim, um, you know, where do you see yourself in three years from now? Doesn't that sound like fucking robotic, like a fucking robot talking to you right now? Yeah, I mean, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, totally, right? So look, man. The way you get out of that, okay, and here's another practice for you to do, is you want to listen. Seriously, like, take this coaching. I swear to fucking God, it's going to rock your world, (laughs) like, because it works. This is what we do in my organization, okay? You take this script, Tim, okay? At least one hour a day, maybe more, you go in front of a mirror, okay? You then look at yourself in the mirror in the eyes. You then start reading the script, okay? And you keep doing it again and again and again. Until eventually, you know that script so fucking well that your attention is no longer on that script. It is now looking 100% attention on those eyeballs you're looking at in the mirror. And listen, when you get to that point, you'll know it. Like, it'll be so available for you. You'll be like, oh, shit, I'm actually with myself right now. This is weird. Kind of trippy. 
And I promise you, at that moment, when you now talk to someone and your attention is on them, a hundred fucking percent, not on a goddamn piece of paper that makes you sound like a fucking robot, okay? That's how you'll be with people. That'll give you access to summarizing what they said back to them, asking them those questions, right? Being interested, being curious, being loving. That will give you access to those questions because you're paying attention. They fucking matter to you. Like, really? And you're interested in their life. And that's what you sell into, okay? You sell into the benefits, right? Notice how in the call we had the mock call. I didn't say, all right, Tim, so what do you think? Right? What the fuck does yeah. that mean? No, I said, okay, Tim. So, well, so listen, if you could be someone that's making $20,000 a month in your first three months, right? Each month, you'll be making $20,000. You can get that house you want for you, you know, you and your family, right? You in, in Florida, right? You could be doing the volunteer activities of people in your community and helping them out, right? And having everything you wanted. Would that be worth a call with my friend John here to see if it's a good fit for you? Yeah, I need to get that good. For well, like sure. the answer, but the answer is yes, right? Like you'd be like, oh, "Fuck yeah, man! That's what I want, right?" And notice, oh, yeah, yeah. And notice, right? It's not because I said it to you, right? I just said back everything you said that was important to you. You notice the difference? I'm not telling you shit. I'm not telling you to do shit in your life. I'm just like, look, this is what you said, Tim. You wanted, right? Isn't that worth your time? Another call with John to see if it's a good fit for you. Now, I want you to know something about what I said, okay? When you are telling someone in sales to do something, okay, this is what some organizations do actually in sales. And honestly, I fucking hate it. I despise it actually. Because all this is fucking manipulation, okay? When you're really good, you don't need to tell people to do shit. Why? Because they're grown fucking adults, okay? They're not your little fucking puppies, you don't fucking tell them shit about how to live their life, okay? Because one thing you're doing, one, is you're diminishing them as a human being. You're saying, you know what, Tim? You're a fucking idiot. You tell, you listen to me. I'm going to tell you what to do, and maybe it'll work out for you, right? Like, that's like manipulation, taking advantage of someone, okay? You don't, listen, don't be that fucking guy or girl. Seriously, please, do not be that person, okay? I promise you, you could be like the person I've described in this call and be the best, like I am my company. It's possible too, okay? You don't got to be a fucking dick about it and tell people how to live their life, okay? So if you listen, right, I never once say it to the muck. If I did one time, then whatever, I fucked up, right? But you never want to speak like you're telling them what to do. You say things, because listen, you want to empower them, right? You want to give them choice. How do you do that? You say, look, Tim, so you just said you want, you know, so Tim, imagine, right? Imagine a year from now, you're going to have A, B, C, D, and E. Is that worth your time being on a call with John to see if it's a good fit for you? You notice how I'm not telling you to do shit. I'm actually empowering you with a choice with something you want, because you said it's something you wanted, to make. And I'm giving you power. I'm like, hey, what do you think, man? Is this worth your time? Hey, you might say no at that point. I don't know, right? Yeah, but probably not because yeah, that's exactly what they, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's exactly what they said they wanted, 100%, right? So look, man, honestly, this is a great fucking call. This is probably the longest call I've done with anybody so far. And we went over everything, seriously. I went over, honestly, like the entire sales flow process. I mean, literally, if, you could, if you're listening too, because uh, Tim, I'm going to ask you permission to share some people if that's okay with you. Okay, like this is a great call, man, because we had everything in here. I went over from the beginning. What does it sound like? I even did a mock with you. People could listen to you again and again to get the world of it, right? I, I share with you the frameworks of the conversation, the spaces to be in, right? To actually be someone who sounds effective and is effective. And I even told you how to do it, right? Mirror work. Practice your script in front of the mirror, right? Get flat on the script. Put it aside. Be with people, right? Ask those questions. Be interested, right? Listen. You may even have to get yourself pumped up before the call. So you're fucking energetic with it. That could be jumping on a fucking trampoline, right? Working out for an hour, having sex with your wife or husband, whatever. But seriously, like doing something that gets you excited about life. Because when you're selling RCA, you are RCA. You want to get that. Like you're the freaking brand, man. 
and people you're talking to, they're listening very closely to everything you're saying. Because if there's someone like me, who's a fucking badass salesman, I want to be around people that are like me. Okay, not someone who's like, yeah, so we have a sales program here. It's, you know, it's one of the best. You know, Cole's, um, he's really a great guy. He, he really, I promise yeah, I know. If, if I'm excited, you're excited. I mean, exactly. that's just the way it goes. Exactly, right? Like, it's almost like contagious, right? You know, imagine someone, imagine if you're someone like that who got in a call with someone like me. Don't you think I would like be elevating your excitement a little bit? Maybe, <laughs> you know? Yeah, definitely. Everything on this call, I've, I mean, I've definitely learned some things. Yeah, for sure, right? Sure. So look, so look, so that's it, okay? And I promise you, man, if you could take this coaching, okay, what does it mean to be coachable? Let's even define that right now, because honestly, people think they know what it is, they really don't. Okay, listen, being coachable means this. Listen, this is really important. This will change your fucking life. Just, just one thing alone, I promise you. Okay, being coachable means that what I say to you, okay, you can listen to it in a way, okay, that you may have an opinion about something I said to you. You may have a thought about it. You may be saying, wow, this guy's a fucking asshole the way he talks to me right now on this coaching call, okay? You might have thoughts, ideas, beliefs, whatever about me. Okay, being coachable is this. It means that you are so committed, Tim, and anyone listening, you are so, I mean, like, really, like, you want to be the best. You are so committed to being number one that you are willing, you are literally courageous enough, seriously, to put aside those thoughts. Like, you got it that I'm a fucking asshole and I'm a dick and you don't like me, but you know what? But you're not going to let that stop you and being the best. So you'll put that shit aside. You're like, you know what, Alex? I don't fucking like you, but you know what? I don't care. And I'm still going to listen to you because you're a fucking badass and you know your shit. And if you say do X, I'm going to fucking do X. I'm going to try it out because I know it's going to work because you said it's going to work. And I trust you. Even though I don't fucking like you, I'm going to do it anyway because I'm coachable. I want to get like better. I want to be like you. So whatever the fucking takes, even if it's me putting aside my feelings about you, I'm going to fucking do it. And you do. And all of a sudden now, your quality of life, your performance fucking elevates now because you have demonstrated what it looks like to be coachable. You took the coaching, you put it into your sales game, you fucking do it, you practice it, you do it more, you get better, 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 and you fucking kill it. All because you were willing to. You are courageous enough. Seriously, you have to be. Because it's so easy, isn't it? To just listen to your fucking head spin. And be like, oh, he's a fucking dick. Fuck this guy. And get off the call. And wow, you just blew one of the most extraordinary experiences of your fucking life. To grow and develop in sales. Because you don't fucking like me. Who fucking <laughs> cares if you like me? Don't you want to be the best? Isn't that worth your fucking life? More than oh, no. hating me, absolutely. Right? I, I don't even let that enter my thoughts. I, I'm well, just here. To, yeah, well, bro, I'm listen, here. listen. I, I'm not. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking know, to like. Human, yeah, I'm, I'm talking to like human being in general. Because I promise you, bro, there are people that are listening to this call right now that seriously gonna be like, "Wow, this guy's a fucking asshole. He's a dick. Why no, is I he doing this?" You, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I, yeah. I'm just saying, I, whoever, whoever I'm around, I don't, I don't let that in my thoughts i just yeah, do what i need you, to do hey tim seriously seriously bro good for you because look that's what it looks like okay that's who you have to be if you want to be effective in a fucking badass in sales you have to because if you want to keep growing expanding yourself you have to be open-minded you know you gotta be willing to let go any thoughts you have about your coach even if you don't fucking like him who cares are they a, are they a fucking top level producer if they are then you have to you have to be willing to put that aside and just listen. Take the coaching. Fucking do it because it's going to work. <laughs> it works. Redo it. I do it. I, everything I'm telling you, that's how I sell. And I'm number fucking one in every category. In these fucking group chats, I put, no bullshit, a snippet of the newsletter of my company. Literally, copy and paste from my company that says I was number one in everything. Fucking deals, you know, conversion rate, and enroll debt. I'm the fucking best. Nope, I'm not fucking sounding arrogant right now. I'm being factual. Look at the fucking numbers. I was number one. In reality, I was number one. 
I know what it looks like to be the best because I am the best. Okay, now, not in high ticket sales. Let's just be responsible here, right? But I'm telling you that in sales, in general, in life, I am top 1%, hands down, everywhere I go, everywhere I work. And this is what it looks like, okay, in reality to be someone like that. And I promise you, this also applies to RCA too. High ticket sales too. Why? Because my training development is not in fucking debt consolidation sales. It's in life. It's in human elevation. Human performance is where my fucking quote unquote PhD is in. If you want to say it like that, right? That's not real, obviously. You know, but my training development has got me to a point where I could be massively, insanely effective and enrolling and registering people into something they actually want to do. Right, Tim? If you told me that you were actually not interested in this opportunity, I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't fucking, I would not close you. Seriously, I wouldn't. Because what's, because what's the point? Like, seriously, why would I waste John's time with you? Why would I waste your time with John? It doesn't, it's not what you want, you know? It's a mismatch, once again. So those people, you say, hey, good talking to you. If you change your mind or you want to do this in the future, reach out to me, right? Create, create a good follow-up, obviously, a good follow-up strategy. But don't waste your time or their time, please, okay? Don't close everybody. Not everyone is the, the good fit here, right? Okay, so I'm going to end there because I have to get back to my actual day job for a few minutes okay. here. Okay, so Tim, look, here's what matters, man, seriously. Okay, what did you for yourself in your sales experience, in your performance? Seriously, man, like, tell me. What did you get for yourself out of this call that you're going to take on now, practicing, demonstrating, moving forward, every mock from now on, that you that you believe will elevate your performance. What do you hear for yourself? What'd you get? Uh, well, I got a lot, but the main thing is to listen and extrapolate on what they're saying, and so they know that I heard them and was listening, and that I'm a real person, not just a, a guy on the other end of the phone. Yeah, good and that I know that know that they're a real person. Good for you. Now, what do you think that'll make available for you now in your sales performance? Like what kind of results will being that way produce for you? I mean, I can see it working on in some sort of, in some fashion on every call. Yeah, right. Uh, I mean, Tim, imagine if you could be like I was with you with, and I mean, with everybody. Do you think that would elevate and increase your close rate? Yes. Do you think people will love you a lot and want to work with you? Yes. Do you think you will make a fuck ton of money working here? Man. Now look, listen, now look. See, here's what just happened, Tim. I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down for you. You just went into your head right now about what you think is gonna happen. I didn't ask you that. I just said to you, if you could be someone who's like me, just be with me for a second, not not in your head. Do you think you could do very well here? Financially? Oh, yes. Yes. Totally, right? Now, obviously, it's going to take some work, right, on your part. Like mock calls, right, practicing, right, things like that, right? Yeah, absolutely. But, but, but what I'm saying, though, is that right now, though, after this conversation, you have a recording of this, too, by the way, which I'll extend to you after we're done. So you can well, listen to this as many times as you want, right, to keep getting something different from your time. So what I'm saying is now that we have this call, man, and you see what it looks like in reality to demonstrate being a high performer in sales, do you think it's possible now for you to be someone like that? Yes, I do believe it. Awesome. Good for you. Now it's just putting the work in, right? And making it happen. Yeah, absolutely. That's and that's work, it. Work, work. I'm telling you, that's it, man. That's the whole nine yards here, seriously. Okay, this shit, I'm not going to lie. It's not easy, seriously. Getting to my level of a high performer, it's seriously not that easy. It's not. It, it took me a couple of years, right? But I'm telling you the shortcuts, right? You have to be someone who loves people. You really care about them. You're interested. You want to know more about their life, what's important to them. Because that's what you're selling. You're selling the dream. You're selling a future for them to live into that really no bullshit excites them, inspires them. How do you do that? Because you ask them what the fuck that is. And then you say yeah. it back to them, right? Like, wow, well, if I can give you all this shit, Tim, would you want to have another call to see if it works for you to be working with us? 
Who the fuck would say no to that? <laughs> and that's it, man. Especially as a setter, where you're not actually closing people. Dude, this job should be a cakewalk for you. If you're a setter and you're listening to this call, seriously, if you can get this training down to be part of your sales flow and who you are for people, you should have like a 90% close rate. Like seriously, seriously, if not more. Because you're just setting. You're not even closing people really in terms of paying. You're just setting up appointments. This should be easy as hell for you. And the people that call you are qualified and they're, they're somewhat interested and they want to be in this industry, easy, hands down, 90%. No bullshit, no problem. You'll make a fucking killing, bro. Because you'll also be only getting qualified people to your closer and you'll be setting them up very powerfully. Like, think about it, right? You just said before, you're looking forward to that call. And it's not even real. <laughs> we mocked it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? I mean, that's like that, that's what that's what I mean. Like that's how I, what I demonstrated to you masterfully, right? What it looks like to have someone what's called powerfully set up. Like you're fucking excited. You're looking forward towards it, right? Like you're like, let's do this shit. Like that, seriously, if your sets are not like that, like seriously, you are way behind the curve of performance here. You are very ineffective. Seriously, relative to what's possible for you as, a, as like an elite setter. Like you're doing 40%, that's fantastic. Let's get you 80%. Seriously. I'm actually looking forward to being a setter first. Oh, yeah. Good for you. Yeah, and honestly, listen, bro, you may just want to do setting. And you know what? That's fantastic. We need to, I'm a closer. I need a setter. <laughs> like, seriously, like, awesome. Good for you. Now, look, if you're my setter, bro, I would probably fucking train you myself. Seriously. I'll probably do mock calls with you and coaching calls with you. Seriously. All with the commitment that you're a fucking like 80% higher closer for a setting. Like, I want you to be successful as fuck. So we both make a lot of money, right? And also, so we're helping the people that we close, having them have a great fucking life and make a lot of money too, right? It's win, win, win. That's what I want. When I'm closing, that's who my setters are going to be. I will personally train all of them to be as good as I am because I care about them. I really actually fucking do, believe it or not, care and love people in my life everywhere because that's what I know. That's what it takes and that's what it looks like to be ultra fucking successful and have a huge community of people that love you too and that you know you touch people and inspire people. You empower them everywhere you go. People will want to be around you, Tim. When you're someone who around you, people get results. They win. They're successful. Think about it. Who would not want to be around someone like that? It's just, it just wouldn't happen unless they didn't want to be there in the first place. Exactly. For sure, right? For sure. And I could tell you, man, you look at my life, I have ginormous fucking networks. Huge. Okay. I like, I like, it's just insane. Like, we could talk, if you go and talk to me more about my life, if you're listening to the call, feel free to message me. We'll talk. My life, no bullshit, is insane with the kind of results I produce in my life in just the last five months, by the way. It's insane who I am, what I'm up to, what I'm doing. The fact that I even have time. For three to five mocks a day alone should be insane being the number one producer at my job and having all these other things inside I'm doing as well. I do them all at the same time and they're all fucking insane results. That's what I'm talking about here is available for you by being someone like me. You can have that too in your life. It's, it's fucking awesome. Seriously. I get up every morning and I'm excited about life. Literally. I'm happy. I'm looking forward to my day. I'm looking forward to these mock calls because I love people and helping them and empowering them in their fucking closing abilities. My life is fucking amazing. When people ask me, how is it going? I'm like, I, look to, I'm, I tell them, like, tell you, I'm like, fucking fantastic. How is your life? Because my life is no bullshit. Fucking fantastic. Like, it really, it really is. I have the life of my fucking dreams right now in my life. And this dude, and for me, it's just the beginning. I see myself down the road building a fucking empire here. Seriously, in the world, to help people, like you said, right? To train and develop them, to help them, to empower them. A fucking empire. Yes, an empire. You want to know what I mean? Message me. We'll talk more about it offline. 
So that's me, right? And look, I am just so committed. And this is how much I love people so much that I want everyone to have what I have. Okay, to have the kind of results I produce in my life, to be an 80% or plus more setter, right? Same thing in closing. Like there's no fucking ceiling, man. There really isn't, Tim. You want to be the best? Then be the fucking best. Don't let anyone or anything stop you, okay? Don't listen to people that have limited beliefs about life. Oh, the best you could do is a 30% close rate. That's the most we've ever done here. Okay, well, that's just an opinion based on their experience. That has nothing to do with you and what you're capable of doing. Okay, I work in one of the hardest fucking industries to sell it, debt consolidation. I am selling something to people that no bullshit research is. They don't fucking want. Why? Because I'm telling them to stop paying their creditors, get creditor calls, miss payments, destroy your credit even more. Who the fuck would want that? But I do it. And I had 37 deals last month. 40% conversion rate in one of the hardest fucking industries out there to sell into. But I did it anyway, right? Because I said so. I said, I don't give a shit how hard it is. I'm going to fucking do a service for people. I'm going to help them get out of debt. I'm going to make I'm gonna make this sound sexy. Yep, sound sexy. Okay, I make my clients laugh on the phone. I make them laugh. I have a good conversation with them. That's enjoyable. Even though we're talking about not paying your creditors anymore. Because of who I am for them and what I can do for them, I get to be someone that's a contribution to their life. Someone they know, they like, and they trust. Okay, And they have faith in me. They trust me. When I say this will get you to the promised land, they're like, I believe you, Alex. Let's do it. Like They really trust me to get there. That's why they sign with me. Okay, Be that person for your prospects and clients. Be someone who they know, like, and trust someone they want to do business with, someone who they want to be like, whether you know it or not, okay? You remember, you are the brand. You are RCA, okay? There are people that are out there that when, when you talk to them, like I do with you in the mock, like they want to be like you. You're a role model. Be a fucking role model of people, right? They're going to be working with RCA. If they, if they see you being a fucking reserved, like cynical, robotic person, who the fuck would want to be with people like that? I mean, just be honest about yourself, right? Nobody. So you got to generate yourself. You got to be someone like this who's intentional, someone who's passionate, someone who's confident, someone who's loving and caring and interested in their life like this. That when they hear someone like this talk to them, who actually really cares about them, that says, hey, you could have this here. They fucking believe you because you are it. You're doing it right now. You are the person they want to be like. It's believable. It's not bullshit. You are RCA. You really want to get that. If you're not a fucking badass high performer, you need a reality check and probably should take a break for a minute because you're not going to make that much money. You're really not. But if you want to kill it, be the best, help a lot of people, do the work, do the practices I went over on this call. Well, listen to it again if you need to. You need to sound like this. This is sexy, <laughs> to use that word. Okay, this is what people want. People want to be a badass. They want to make a lot of money, right? They want to have influence and power in life. This is what it sounds like. If you're not like this, get coaching from me. I don't give a shit. Dude, I'm doing this shit for fucking free. Seriously, I should be selling this fucking service to people. So I, I should. But you know what? I'm not especially in RCA, because one, that's against protocol and policies, and I have integrity in my life, so I would never, ever solicit anybody for anything. So you know what? I have free time during my day. I'm like, you know what? I want to help everyone else be where I'm at and be, make a lot of money be successful, and it's also part of my requirements for being signed off right in the pipeline and doing mocks. So I am more than happy to give my time, which is very valuable, like yours is, to train, develop you to be a fucking badass for nothing, for free. Why? Because believe it or not, I actually give a fuck about you. And I don't want anything in return. Really, I really don't. I just really care. So sue me. I care. Yep. Well, I appreciate that. And I appreciate your time. Are you going to send me a copy of this call? Yeah, I'll do it like as quickly as I can. Okay. So the next hour, you'll have it. 
Okay, great. And, and 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 do you mind if I share this with the people? I mean, look, I'm not gonna like spam it in the fucking you know chat. I'll be like, hey, if anyone wants a recording, like let me know, text me, DM me, and then I'll give it to them. Is that okay, or do you want this between just me, just me and you? It's your choice. Well, I don't know. Can you ask me that later? Because I'm not that familiar with Facebook yet, and I'll yeah. probably say yeah. I'll probably say yes, but can yes. you give me a day on that? Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. So what I'm saying, Tim, is that look, like this copy will be just for us, okay? But I want to give this out to other people so they could also get benefits like you did, right? So what I'm asking could do is if I reach out, I'm like, hey, I said a really phenomenal mock call with someone that's like great and it can take you from where you are to like insane performance. If you want it, like send me a message on Facebook and I'll give you the link for it. Like that. Like that's what I'm that's what I'm looking to do. Not just spam it on a fucking public forum somewhere for everyone in the world to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like just keep it keep it private in the RCA community is what I'm is what I'm asking. Uh and hell, dude, like I said, if you want a day to think about it, no problem. There's yeah, no let rock. me think about that for a day. Only because I'm I'm brand new and and I'm basically new to Facebook. And I just want to I just want to chill on that for a second. Hey, no problem, bro. No problem. So look, let me end the call. I'll save the recording. I'll send you the link for it. You have it. And then let me know tomorrow, dude. Even the next day, I don't give a shit. Friday, I said, let me know if it's cool. Um, and remember that look, I want to create a context here for you, okay? What I'm asking to do, okay, look. Seriously, if other people listen to this call, I promise you, they will fucking get a lot of value out of it for their life. So you yeah, have I'll, I'll, here, I'll definitely let you know. Yeah, I, I just want to let you know the opportunity, though, okay, that you have here in front of you is that you could be directly related to a lot of people in RCA making a lot more money and being a lot more successful here if you offer and agree to share this with other people. Okay, that's the opportunity here, just to make it clear for you, okay? Sure. Cool. Yeah. All right, man. So I'll, I'll let you go. Um, let me know back. You know, said so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't give a fuck. Just if you can before Monday would be fantastic. And then um, we'll go from there, man. Okay. All right. Sounds great. I appreciate it, Alex. You too, man. All right, bro. Take care, bro. Good talking to you. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye.